Hey, you I want to address this too. Uh, this is not the minimal story, but right now, McDonald's would stand the test of time. They don't even have dollar menus no more. I've seen comments like, why would you open a sneaker shop right now? Why don't you guys rock them? They're whack. Okay. I, Those people actually... would probably get five pairs of pandas. Woo, so outfit breakdown. Uh, what are you rocking, Johnny? Do I have to get up? Can yeah. I stay here cozy real quick? You do whatever I got, you I want. I got my protection pack. Real on ones? Again. Real ones? Yes, again, you have to mention that they're real. Thank you, Tan. <laughs> um, moving forward, man, we got Anyways, the uh, yeah. <laughs> Richie Lee collection wool pants, man. Crazy. Beep, and then beep, beep, beep. We got Best the, uh, sweatpants in the game. They're, I wouldn't even consider them sweatpants. These, 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 you wear it on a night out with your lady. You go on a little sure date do. with these. these Talk to when him. I rocked these the other day, the girls were touching. Like, are, is that wool? I'm like, mm. come and feel the free self. <laughs> the girls are touching. Rare. <laughs> um, and then I got the uh, Big Boys Only shirt coming real soon. Off the scale logo. Yes, Big sir. Boys Only hat coming real People soon. People have been asking well for too. that. People have been asking for the, the release date. Coming very soon, you guys. Very soon. I like very, that. Very, I like that. Soon, I like right? that. I like that. I like Damn, that. what you got on? Oh, uh, man. Richie Lee from head to toe, as always. You know what I'm saying? And then... <laughs> Richie wore the tribute rhinestone grand opening shirt last last uh, hype talk we did, so I had to bring Crazy. mine's out. Shop it around. One you guys are wild for doing the rhinestones, bro. Shop it that's, that's 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 a whole nother level. A little you know a little step up from the regular box logo screen print shirt. Facts. Shop it that's uh, the gradient on it too. The gradient, with the gradient. Paint vibes. Super super excited for these Let right here. Um, RLC flannel with the frayed edges. <laughs> Felt like we you know nice little touch that yeah, we kind of did. Yep, that's different. And then on feet. Had to bring out the heaters today. Mm, kept those crispy. Say, I've only worn it twice. Crispy. Sale off white fours, man. Yeah, that was a good, Virgil. like, we always say this a good uh, refresh sneaker. You know what I mean? Like, very refreshing to the game. Mm -hmm. Kept its value. Uh, still, never was like tarnished. I no, like. tarnished no, 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 is a good no, word. No. Yeah. You know, Tan, I gotta say, you know what I appreciate about your outfits always? You are just a walking billboard for our house brands. You are constantly wearing all of our house brands all the time. Try samples to, of the yin yang. That I boy, Mr. Samples it. over here. Mr. Samples. Richie, what you got on, man? All right, man. Uh, we'll start off with the feet. Got a pair of Travis Scott's uh, Jordan 1s. You don't see those often. You don't really see them often. Classic. Yeah. A lot of people like, felt like it was fitting. You know, we're going to be talking about sneakers yep. today. So, yes, um, And then for the denim, we got the uh, St. Laurent Crash Denim, one of my favorites. Always Classics. kept these. Uh, Rich, can we just kind of explain how, like, this denim is almost like, would you say a Chicago one for Jordans? Like, it has a very special place in, like, denim connoisseurs as far as, like, a designer going to St. Laurent, yep. helping them out with their denim. Then he leaves, goes to Celine. Um, they could never this, duplicate it. Not only that, this birth 20 pairs of RLC washes. I was going to say, man, Like, literally, you it always guys, goes back to this. You yep. guys talk about, like, denim like it's a science. Like oh, we, it's I, a it, science. It's this, this has been like this forever. So every time I used to hear you talk about denims and how you're like, no, 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 these, this, this is the quality. This Trust right me, there's a lot of washes out there when it comes to denim. And I'd say 80% of them are terrible. Wow. So that 20% <laughs> you got... Yeah, shots fired. Oh, man, come on. Hey, yeah, really I want to address this too. Uh, this is not the minimal story, but they are still using my name as a quote for the best uh, distressed death. I want to say that is Benito, <laughs> not standing by that no Ooh. longer. Whoa. Nah, 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 Whoa. nah, 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 nah. This is big shots when right now. When I said it, though, it was groundbreaking as far as that denim at the time to yeah. like do that stuff for that price point was crazy but i'm feeling like now the nah, time's changed like, yeah time's, time's changed, changed. Time's a changed. lot of they brands have got a lot better for sure for sure so just want to say that i saw um someone just sent me the screenshot i was like what the f yeah anyways mm. um still using it huh yeah still using it and then for the flannel we got a sample rlc <sighs> flannel uh we're still trying to you know uh perfect it perfect it mm -hmm. and everything but definitely really like this one right here not as like thick as our um Oh, I mean, the next, I mean, what, we're going into the 2023 warmer season, warmer vibes. Yeah. The flannel's going to be a little lighter. And then I just got a great t-shirt underneath, brought out the uh, Fear of God fitted, just for uh, nostalgia Classic. purposes, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so I uh, wanted to just talk about what uh, considerations do you guys kind of go through when purchasing a sneaker right now? Because mm, recently, ooh, one. I could have got the uh, reimagined Jordan 1 Chicago's $1,000, and I was just like, hey, 
I want to think about this a little bit more strategically. Even my uh, mentor recently, I was about to purchase a, ha uh, a house, and he was like, you need to really break down every single mm. aspect. And then he's like, not just for this house, but literally everything in your life. Once you start getting in the groove of really breaking things down, uh -huh. you're going to see that they're... Uh, you might not need them as much as you thought. Like, um, That's true. I was watching, Very I know true. I'm all over the place, but I was watching this like financial show recently, and she was like, Hey, you should break it down into, um, do you need it, which is like your necessities? Okay. Do you love it, which is you're going to really enjoy this six months and beyond? Uh -huh. And then there's another category, just like it and want it. Oh. And he's, she's like, You're going to, your whole financial life will change once you start really eliminating Ooh. those just like it. And want it. Yeah. You know point. what I mean? So That's a good um, point. but yeah, just back to the reimagined Jordan ones. I for myself didn't see me wearing them really heavy, so I passed. But yeah, let's let's go off. I, I will say for me, when it comes to something like that, is do you have an older model? Do you have multiple pairs of maybe an OG Chicago Similar. one? Like yeah. I have an OG pair of Chicago ones and I have the 2015s. Talk to them. Do I really need the reimagines? But some people might take that and be like, that's a reason to get the whole set, mm. get the whole progression. You want the generations, all the generations, right? Some people would right? say that, you know what I mean? That's a good point. I, I think the easiest way to break this down is for us to understand what are the criteria. What are we thinking when we're buying the shoes? Kind of like how you're talking about the purchasing the house, right? What are we thinking about mm. right now? Like for me, the biggest thing is how often am I going to wear these? Exactly. Because a lot of times when I buy shoes that I, I thought I wanted, they just sit in the closet. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I'm, I'm, when I uh, give you a gift, which is usually a sneaker, <laughs> I'm going to try to factor in how much you're going to wear them because I've not seen the Fear of Gods. Yeah. Not seen the Shatter Backboards too well. Oh, you actually kind of wear I wore the hell out of those. Actually, never mind. Never mind. The Fear of Gods. I'm kind of sad. I thought you were rock those heads. I still have them. I haven't, I haven't let it go. really put a... My bad, but you're his foot hey, in Hey, 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 I can. I He's can. mentioned it before. You the, can, but like, I got how wears you going to get out of it? I, I, I got I've it. I got a lot of wears out. The thing about it is, <laughs> the thing about it is. We're, we're, we're dress socks, so it slides no, in, you no, know Guys, what I mean? guys, guys, I can get my foot in there with normal socks. The issue is, it's a wild ass shoe. Really? Yeah. Have the you looked at the God structure Nike. of that shoe versus like a standard running shoe? And that's not even like the wave right now is, is the, um. Fear of God, that style right now. I mm. feel like the running shoes and casual shoes are super in right now. So if I were to wear a big bulky shoe like the Fear of Gods, I would have to wear like cargos or something more like winter-ish. You know, going you on what Donnie's saying, say though, would, what he's trying to say green. is he's getting caught up in the trends. The trend right now isn't Fear of God Nikes. It's really mm. New Balance's runners. So I think... But I thought you don't... Uh, you're... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Anti Hype Beast. I'm anti Hype Beast, <laughs> but I also gotta be real with myself. Mm. I gotta be, I gotta What's be hot? real it's with hot. myself. What's when it's hot, hot it's, it's hot. hot. It's Sometimes hot. it's just too hot to wear, for real. You can't buy everything because they are dropping sneakers more than they are. I feel like music. You know what I mean? It's just coming out every day. I feel like it's too much to handle, and it's only gonna make the youngsters broke or maybe work <laughs> harder, hustle more to kind of, it's really hard to really keep up with all the releases, man. It's gonna do I both of what down. you just okay. said. They're saying there's just so many sneaker releases right now that the price point is dropping for all of them. Some people are saying sneakers are kind of dead as far Look, as resale man, goes. If our economy is starting to crash and that's what people are talking about right now, you best believe that the products that people are getting is gonna start dropping as well too. Dude. I remember way back in the day we did this hype talk and you were like, hey, we could be in a recession. We could be blah, blah, blah. Mm. Sneakers are going to fail. Cars are going to fail. But not McDonald's. McDonald's will never fail. <laughs> not that McDonald's. McDonald's. Well, McDonald's kind of expensive right now. McDonald's would stand the test of time. They don't even have dollar menus no more. <laughs> Whether you get it for a dollar is a beverage. The value Still menu. Still a line out there. Exactly, Still a line out there. Crazy, um, but yeah, definitely crazy. do you think sneakers are kind of dying as far as resale goes. Some people have even advised, I've seen comments like, why would you open a sneaker shop right now when the, there's it's so much uncertainty with the economy? The market is so saturated, like answering on why prices are dropping, is there's just, just too much stimulation. 
a like, lot, a yeah. lot. It's 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 a lot to take in right now. For yeah. sure. Everything. Like remember when we were talking about like a menu, Rich? Sometimes you see a menu that has oh, like yeah, yeah. fifty things, and it makes you not want to buy it because you feel like you're gonna make a wrong decision. Exactly. And I feel like that's kind of like the way shoes are right now. There's like a million True. shoes coming out one time. Yeah. You're not sh you're sure what shoe to buy. So you might as well just be honest with yourself Bro, to see what you want and what you're going to so wear. That is so true. Remember, we it, every Saturday, you got one sneaker. It's either yes or no. Yeah. If you want to skip, then it's cool. Yeah. But now it's like... Ten sneakers on a Saturday. We were hooping the other day, 7 p.m. Literally, guys are trying to get a uh, a, a midnight release or something. I'm just yeah. like... This is what it's come down to, y'all. Just skipping, hooping to stay on the uh, phones and get the, uh, I forgot what sneaker, the GT Cuts or something. No, I feel yeah. it, man. I, I like the it. way the market is going right now because... The resale value on a lot of, I would say, like, tier two, tier three shoes are, like, probably, like, 40, 50 bucks over yeah. like retail. Like what? Like what? The Midnight Navy one lows. I thought those would go for oh, more, the but one? they're going for, like, almost damn near retail. Damn near retail. Exactly. Those type of sneakers are kind of, like, sitting, you know? They're yeah. selling, but they're not reselling. And it makes you wonder what the shift is. What are people waiting for this new wave of shoes to come? You know what kind of has, like, a solid base right now as far as, you know, not crazy margins, but they're moving. Are the Yeezys, oh. foam runners, slides, uh, three fifty slides? Not as much, but the foam runners are hot. As popular as Yeezys are right now, and just um, even the three fifties, there's some dope colors. I'm not For gonna sure. lie, there's some dope colors. Safe colors. Safe colors. Why don't you guys rock them? They're whack. Okay. I, the whackness <laughs> behind. I just said they're kind of dope. No, the, the, the whack. No, they're whack. Like to me, it's just whack because it's like it reminds me of taking the integrity of supreme away when supreme became extremely saturated and it didn't matter if you were into the streetwear lane or not you just bought it because you knew it held a particular value yeezy did that for a while to where now it's just completely saturated. he's basically saying it's whack where it's come to not the yeah. shoe itself i think you. for you yeah. i think i think we do all can agree aesthetically they look dope yeah colorways are safe yeah they go with most of your outfits but what johnny's trying to say is it's kind of getting towards Supreme where the excitement's not there. Oversaturated. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I put on the uh, the turtle doves recently. I didn't feel that bro that yeah. that tingling sensation in my foot. I, I just put them on and was like, mm. I saw that, someone I wearing turtle doves the other day and I was like, whatever. Like it's just it's just yeah. whatever now. I even decided to not buy some uh 700 V3s because I was like do people even care about these anymore? Exactly. I feel like, Dang. and we've always brought this up in other videos, is you could get so much more value for the same price nowadays as buying, like, okay, for example, like a, um, buy a Royal 350 V2 for 250 yep. or buy those right now. Those have so much more, like, uh, relevancy, uniqueness. Yep. Uh, there's a story right now, but I feel like with the Yeezys, it's just like everybody's kind of past them, you know? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely Unfortunately. things Unfortunately. to consider. So even when I, uh, going back to the reimagined Jordan ones, I was like for a thousand dollars, that's not cheap. No. What could be bought with a thousand right now that would just hit them over the head crazier. True. You know what I mean? So There's probably a lot more, honestly. Way more. You could go buy a pair of you Supreme, uh, blazers, you True. know, those are kind of, yeah. um, what else? So, I mean, some classics. Or, you know, you look at $1,000 and see how many regular uh, pair of shoes you can get. Four you know, pairs of those, you probably you know? get a couple pair of Kobe's for $1,000. Exactly. You know? Some people would probably get five pairs of pandas. Wow. Then to have one reimagined. Yeah. The, can we talk about the pandas? One. Why are the pandas probably like panda, the, panda, most panda. Panda. <laughs> the most popular like shoe out right now? Easy to rock. Just aesthetically, just I feel like not as bulky as the Air Force One. I feel true, like people true, think true. they're more sleeker. Yep, yeah. They are. Um, they raised the price recently, ten bucks. Which uh, already they did. They you know they came. They came Nike they're, knows, man. Bro, they did it. Remember when forces were like sixty five bucks? Sixty five bucks. Now they're crazy. One hundred ten. Insane. But yeah, they raised the price. I don't know. Nike smart. You know what they did? They saw what the resellers were buying it for and reselling it for. And they're like, well, if people are willing to buy it at this resale price, we'll just raise it up to that price. 280 is what they kind of moved for. 280, 290. But Crazy. insane. I feel like, yeah, I don't know why people really hate on them. There's nothing to hate. Like, Oh, there's nothing to hate. It's just there's a lot of them. They, I saw this video recently that was really interesting. It was a TikToker. Compare, he's just asking people straight up, a bread one or a panda dunk? They're going pandas all day, right? Oh, yeah. Way more pandas than you think, bro. But what's crazy. more wearable, right? Way more pandas. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. I think it goes back to what I was saying in, like, a video me and you did, Rich Copper Drop. I was saying I'm kind of gravitating away from OG 
with OG colorways, which usually is the bread blocking, the yeah, royal wow. colorways. I the never would have thought the, I heard the, the white, this. black, and red. You might be cool just to shoot us black and white, you know? <laughs> which kind of goes into my next point. I'm actually excited for the OG Jordan 1 black and white. They're dropping those? 2023, I yeah. believe so. It's going to be the next Jordan 1. I did see they're doing an elephant print one. It looked kind of wild. <laughs> that one That's all kinda, you, brother. That's yeah. all you, brother. Kinda, Some people's rotation right there. You just said it. Air Force One, Panda Dunks, Foam Runners. Yep. In a pair of 350s. Like, yep. that's the grail rotation. That's probably like the like. highest average collection. Man. <laughs> what times it have came changed. Down? What times it... have changed. And we must adapt. Yeah. I mean, we they, must took, adapt. they took the um, building off of Fortnite. That's adapting. Ooh. What? what? What's going on? I just wanted to say something random. I was yeah. like, wow. Well, nothing about Fortnite. The, the one thing I used to hate about Fortnite was the whole building part. You guys know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. I kind of just want to play Fortnite. along with you, Rich. But uh, oh. I, don't I, I saw it trending, Ooh. though. I saw it trending, it's though. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's, it was the worst part of the game. And it took it out. They so. took it out. Well, everybody's happy, then, right? Fortnite back. Okay. Fortnite's Fortnite back. back. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, pretty much wraps up the discussion. Let us know. I mean, we went over it all. Why aren't you guys rocking Yeezys or just even the clothing right now with the whole Gap um, products? If you aren't rocking them, if you are rocking easy 350s, why? Like, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys consider when you are purchasing a sneaker? Remember what I said? Do you need it? Yep. Do you love it? If not, then you got to, is it, you just want it and you like it. Because mm. um, the other day I was going to go get some coffee and I was like, man, I just want it. Yeah. You just gotta be real with I yourself sometimes. It. And that's that's ten bucks right there. I could be saving. There so you gotta go. think, Prove gotta that, brother. Think like that a little bit more. Any any last words? Man, that was a doozy. <laughs> but what I will say though, regardless of how the sneaker market is going, I'm, I'm excited for tribute still. Still gonna super be... excited. Uh, again, you know, we're gonna bang out a lot of pandas, a lot of white Air Force Ones, man. If the vision is there, no. I but also, we also said Deals. some unique sneakers as well. You know, it's going to be a good mix. Yeah, I think sure. that's what we're always going to not steer too far away from our taste as well. Too, exactly. You know? exactly. Curated, exactly. Curated. At the same time, throw some deals. Home. <laughs> Dillies, Stillies, and Willies. Yes, sir. <laughs>